Yum yum dog turd sandwich. Yum dog turd sandwich for me. Yum 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 dog turd sandwich. Yum. Have a bite and you'll see. Yum yum dog turd sandwich. In today's episode of Dog Turd Sandwich, we're looking at spare tire holders like this one. Uh, you can't always rely on these to not break. As you can see that it cracked out pretty good right there. This is where the uh, the spare tire bolts to the thing, and then this uh, clamps onto the frame of the trailer. I lost the other part of the clamp a long time ago. You know, it's somewhere in the trash or something. But anyway, you can see this cracked out very nicely. It might have lasted, I don't know, 100 miles or something like that, uh, driving on regular roads and a little bit of gravel. Um, if we zoom in here, we can see that, oh, look, this is good for 100 pounds. And yes, I can testify that it's good for 100 pounds as long as you don't drive your vehicle. If, if you move this, then it's not good for, well, whatever the spare tire weighed, 50 pounds or something like that. And we notice in here, oh, there are the tires. It was, oh, the tires not included. They have to tell us that. Um, it says, frequently examine this item for structural cracks, bends, damage, and any other condition. What may affect the safe operation of the product? Hmm. Well, so I have to frequently examine this. Imagine if they had the same kind of thing on your truck, and they said, you must frequently examine the frame uh, to make sure that it's not cracked and falling apart. Hmm. People wouldn't buy that. They would buy a different truck. Yep, guaranteed. So, anyway, this one didn't last very long, uh, selling me for buying it. Subsequently, I bought this one, which seems a little bit more stout. And so the frame fits in here, the trailer frame, and then the uh, spare tire bolts of this guy. And this lasted a few hundred miles, and then it cracked out right along here. And, as you can see, I ground it out and then welded it um, so that I could use it again. But I'm kind of reluctant to use it. I may or may not ever use it, uh, but you can see this one is somewhat more stout than the, the first one that I, that I tried. So anyway, both of these are not particularly good and not to be recommended. So here's a much heavier, dutier tire, spare tire holder on my current trailer, and you can see, yeah, this is like uh, uh, three-eighths, and this is quarter, and and this is about a quarter, and, and see how solid it looks with this gusset here like this. Well, it didn't come with this gusset. That's something that I added to keep it from cracking out because it had cracked out across here. See this nice up, upside down kind of frowny face uh, crack? So it had cracked all the way across. And here you can see it on the other side. So it had cracked all the way through, you know. And interestingly, I was not the first person that noticed it. A friend of mine just walked over and said, Hey, your, uh, your spare tire holder is cracked. And guess how I know this? Well, it's because my spare tire holder, that is exactly the same as yours, is cracked in exactly the same way. So here's another angle on that uh, spare tire holder. So this leads to the observation that of the vertical spare tire holders that I've had in my life, all of them have cracked. Uh, but this type, where you mount them horizontal on a trailer, I've never had a problem with one of these. So here we see two on this uh, inflatable trailer. It works. And you know, on my old... Yum. It came with a horizontally mounted spare tire, and that worked just fine. So there you go. Yum yum dog turd sandwich. Yum dog turd sandwich for me. Yum 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 dog turd sandwich. Yum. Have a bite and you'll see. Yum yum dog turd sandwich.